Lord, we thank you for loving us, dying to set us free. We thank you that you are indeed good. Bring blessing to us this day so we can walk close to you. In Christ's name, amen and amen and amen, amen. and amen. 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 God is good. So good morning, Lord. Good morning, all. Welcome with us. Bless we are us. on the way to the cross, and Lord Jesus had just had a Seder with his uh, disciples, probably more than 12, but anyway, we know. There had to be more. Yeah, you would think so. You, you would think so, because they'd be servants and they'd be right. hustle and bustle, I would imagine. Okay. So, in the midst of this, I'm going to try this in CEV. There's a couple reasons I like that, and there's a couple reasons that we need to talk about there. So okay. he has just promised the disciples, he, he has uh, chastised the disciples for their wanting to be the greatest in that kingdom. And then he has uh, encouraged the disciples with a promise that each of them will be ruling and reigning uh, in the heavens. Um, and then he looks at Simon Peter, and it's a, a fascinating flow of events here. All right. He looks at Simon Peter, and then twenty-two thirty-one. Yeah, CEV Contemporary English Version, Luke twenty-two thirty-one. Jesus said, "Simon, listen to me. Satan has demanded the right to test each one of you, as a farmer does when he separates wheat from the husks." Okay. But Simon, I have prayed that your faith will be strong, and when you when you have come back to me. Help others. Okay. Wow. So, uh, first of all, let's, the, each of you is right. Uh, Simon, the devil has requested the right, demanded the right, whatever word that is. That, that's different in different versions. The right to test each one of you. So, <laughs> he's looking at Simon, and he says, the devil has asked permission to sift each one of you, but you, Simon, <laughs> are going to fail. And when you do, and when you repent, come back and take care of your brothers. Yeah. Wow. What a what a like three things all at once in there. Yeah. Let's, so let's, that word demanded is particularly strong, and it's just hitting me now how strong that is. That imagine Satan himself demanding. That he comb you like, work you over like with a fine tooth comb, right. and uh, just rake you over the coal, so to speak. Yeah. So you know, imagine Jesus saying that to you about what what Satan wants to do. The fact that he demanded, yeah. he demands on what basis that that uh, Peter has uh, Simon Peter has sent in some way. Yeah, but he has no right to demand. Anything. That's right. So let me comment on that. That, that you just sparked, uh, some, some of the translators go asked and some go demanded. But but it makes me think about the name it, claim it people demanding of God. Um, I understand this, and I have to say, Satan is a deceiver and a liar. We know that. And in my life, I've been through hell. That's right. And I still continue to go through it. And you have, yeah. and anybody who serves the Lord with all their heart has been okay. raked over the coals. But God is in control, and That's we right. know that. So, so it's um, the right to test each of you. So he he hyper focuses on on Simon Peter, and he lets everybody else in the room know. Now, um, so. The, the hyper-faith people demand from God. They think if they say it out loud, God Almighty has to do whatever they said. And that's a, um, Satan can make his demands all he wants, yeah. but God chooses to allow which testings he will allow and which testings yeah. he will not. So please don't make demands of God. That's please right. make requests of God. He does what's right, and that's you right. pray according to his will. That's right. And that he gets you through it. It Amen. gives you the strength. Amen. So, customarily, I mean, t today we have these huge machines that do this. That the 
that the stuff around the, the wheat kernel, the, the fruit of the wheat, is waste. It's, um, it, it's chaff. And so what they did in Jesus' day is took, a, is took a rake and flipped the stuff in the air. And the, the bad stuff went floating off, yeah, and, and the wind. good stuff sank back down yeah, so in wind. an edible form. And, uh, and if you look at this huge pile of grain here, this is a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, fling the thing in the air, watch it land, and then fling the next pile in the air. And um, so we have, we have, uh, we have hyper uh, machines that just grind this out. They, they harvest and they grind and they separate. But in Jesus' day. So I want you to know that there are things in each of our lives that the Lord Jesus wants to have Amen. not there. Amen. So how does he, how does he do this uh, sifting thing? Well, he allows you to come face to face with the reality that you are not God Amen. and that you are far from perfect and as Amen. am I. And that there's, there's good and solid stuff in you but there's stuff that you need to just let get blown away. No. Learn your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Learn your lesson. Okay, good. So, so we said we settled on why Satan uh, asks or demands. What is it that uh, Simon Peter is something Simon Peter has done that triggers this uh, this uh, impetus in Satan to demand or ask whatever either one. Um, the right to test each one of them. He, he asked for with, with Job, right? That's right. He, uh, uh, he looked for the right to work uh, Job over. He did. Um, but what, what is is it? So is it some sort of pride or something that I'm wondering if it's something in particular, or if he just does this for everyone? I think it's yeah. you know why is he picking? Why is he naming Simon Peter? Why is Satan naming Simon Peter per se? For the right to test him. That's right. Is it, is it, is it his? his uh, he has a, a reputation of his boldness may come off as sort of a uh, a, a pridefulness. There you go. For instance, I, I'm just wondering: is there a particular sin there, or some no. some deficit that uh, is beckoning to uh, for, uh, to beckoning Satan to come in and test this thing? But he whatever says, it is, each one of you. Right. He says each one of you. Maybe the Lord saw in Simon something that he needed to let go of, and maybe everybody else didn't see it, but he saw it because it was holding them back. That's right. But he said he did, Satan has demanded the right to each one of you. I don't think he was just naming out Simon. Maybe Jesus saw something in Simon that Simon had to let go of. But no. he says each one of them. And also... Right. He's got the... I mean, after all, the Lord knows what that Simon Peter is going to fail him. Right. That's right. He knows each one of us. Each right. one of yeah. us fail him. Okay. So let's answer the question in verse 32. Okay. Uh, verse 2. Uh, again, Luke, Luke 22, 32. C-E-B. But Simon, I've prayed that your faith will be strong. And when you have come back to me, help the others. Wow. Okay. So Simon's denial of the Lord Jesus, yeah. we'll get to it when we do, is vigorous and laced Tough. with fisherman type cussing. And so the Lord Jesus tells him that this is going to come to him. And, yeah. but when you repent and come back to me, Help the others. It's a, it's kind of a, uh, a teeter totter here. Full you, warning. You're going to be. I'm warning you. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. But when you do this, repent and come back to me, and then help the others. It's going to be good for everybody, even us. <coughs> it's That's good right. for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good for each one of us. Here we are reading it, all these years later, and it, we apply it to our lives and. You know, each one of us fail the Lord in some way or not. 
or each other, which ultimately is the Lord. Yeah. Um, so when this happens, we need to, like each one of us have a testimony. My failures are part of our, and other people in our church, our failures in life have become part of our testimony. And why it gives us the right to say to somebody that's coming in with similar problems and say, look, I've been there, brother. I know what it's like, but the Lord can do this for me. He can do it for you, too. And we, yeah. wonder, mm -hmm. too, we wonder, too, how God Almighty answers Simon's prayer. I prayed your faith will be strong. Yeah. He denies the Lord Jesus three times. I wonder what would have happened if the Lord Jesus had not interceded for him. <laughs> yeah. oh, That's how true. Perfect. That could have been. Unbelievable. And when you're... And when, when you have come back to me, help you, the others. Yeah. And it's interesting. You know, it's a, there's a testimony there for uh, of Christianity itself that it, it's a religion of mercy, of uh, grace, of forgiveness. Yes. Uh, in other words, all of that is anticipated. In, uh, the Lord is going to uh, exercise all of this uh, because he you know. In other words, you think of how many cults there are that you fail once and you're out. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you fall down once and there's no nothing there, nobody there Mercy. to pick you up. You, it's based on Mercy. success after success. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in this case, I mean, Jesus is telling Simon Peter, "You're going to fail," yeah, in a sense. Yeah. Uh, and when you do, when uh, you're going to come back, yeah. Simon, Peter, which means right there, you're going to. I mean, it is, there's got to be something that. Um, either draws you back or something that you learn that beckons to you to come back. Uh, nonetheless, you're going to return. And right. when you do, yeah. you'll have this resource of experience right. with which you can help others. Right. But it's not, not going to necessarily be a pleasant experience going That's through right. it. But That's when right. you get through it yeah. Yeah. and you have the experience to help others, I agree. Uh, you'll, see the, you'll see the value in going through this trial. Now, I don't want you to go looking for trials so you can minister to <laughs> no, others. You don't have no, to look. Don't look for trouble. It's you out there. You don't have to look. <laughs> and secondly, <laughs> gee, I've never been a heroin addict. I, no, well, don't do that. It. No. No. No, 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 don't do that. No, no, don't go there. <laughs> and the second thing is, once the Lord Jesus is resurrected, his command is, go tell the disciples and Peter. Yeah. That I have resurrected and I'll meet them at yeah. such and such a place. Amen. Amen. Okay, but Peter's a little surprised at this. Remember, they've just they've just had this enormous meal. They've had yeah. all kinds of conversations, and I don't now get it. <laughs> and now Peter seems to be singled out. Like yeah. Lord Jesus says, Peter, you all. I mean, yeah. in Texas, yeah. you'd say y'all. Lord uh, Simon Peter and y'all. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's really how that word translates, except, anyway, Texas. And and then Peter looks at Jesus, kind of shaking his head. Let's try yeah. 33. How oh, could you even think that, Lord? <laughs> I, won't, I won't betray you. Amen. 33. Yeah, that's right. Verse 33. Peter said, Lord, I'm ready to go with you to jail and even to die with you. Jesus replied, Peter, I tell you that before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will have denied me three times. You'll de you will say, sorry, you will say uh, that you don't even know me. That's right. Wow. So, um, so Peter is now, uh, like, Peter's vision of who Jesus is is still a conquering Christ. And yeah. Peter's vision of who he is, he, Peter is, is the guy on his right or the guy on his left or whatever, or one of the important people in this new kingdom. Right. And Jesus says... But this strengthens his faith. That's right. Well, well or, I would. You know, you, you ultimately know, but... Well, and in some people's case, when they get sifted, yeah. they leave town. Yeah, no, Peter was sifted. Oh, no. He was Peter sifted. Was sifted. So, he was told, he was told, you're going to do it three times. And he still 
was like, no, not me, yeah. bro, I got yeah. you, I got you, yeah, not me. That's right. Amen. And we think about yeah. what needs to be sifted out of our lives. Well, everybody needs to have more patience. I don't know of somebody so patient that they can never say, I got patience locked down. Well, if you do, that's kind of an arrogance that you soon. And then, so how does the Lord Jesus build patience? With trouble. So what are you going to do? Are you going to be a party to it? Or are you going to go kicking and screaming through these situations? Uh, how, do I, how do I be kind? Well, you'll have all sorts of opportunities that, that are unnatural to be kind, meaning that somebody's hostile towards you, they're taking advantage, all these kinds of things. Lord, I need to be gentle. Lord, I need to be meek. Well, that only comes from that. Yeah. You only get that. It's not, and I'm not saying that there isn't moments in our lives that we just get a, a great gift of peace or a great gift of patience, and we're able to. But the daily practical making it real in our lives happens in the sifting field. Yeah. The old no. say the old the old saying goes, if you if you want patience, just wait. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is uh yeah, this is a um this is a um uh what would you say a um the actual whereas the prodigal son is is more of a uh, parable story, but they they parallel. Yes. That's right. So how amazing this is that that Peter is now, and he's now Peter instead of Simon, by the way. Simon, I prayed your faith will be strong. Peter, I tell you that before the rooster crows tomorrow, you'll be three times. Yeah. Uh, all, yeah. kinds, all kinds of transitions in the scriptures mm -hmm. when God changes somebody's name mm -hmm. to reflect some sort of character change. Um, and, and we can do a whole... A whole study on that, but we won't do it today. So, so, so we're ending. We're ending. Seda with uh, a promise of temptation and a promise of of um, failure, and uh, and a promise of restoration. So, mm -hmm. it, you just think how glorious that is that you can do. You know this and this and this. Um, amen. 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 Lord, we thank you that though we have failed, you have loved us. Though we have not lived up to everything that we think we should do, you have loved us. Lord, we thank you that in our daily life, you have loved us. And ask for great grace, O oh God, that we could think your thoughts and we could do your work, that we could love each other in spite of, in spite of their very human feelings, and in spite of our human feelings. Transform me, O oh Lord, so I can make a difference. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Lord, I thank you for everything you've done for me. And I ask that you would forgive me for my shortcomings and help me to do better today, Lord. And help me to apply what you taught me in the past and what you teach me today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy and grace that we see plainly in this story. And the realization how much we need, need them. No matter how far down the path we may think we are in terms of being experience in terms of experience of, and in terms of thinking we have grown in you there's always more ahead of us and that we uh we realize the uh that through humility we we can recoup when we do fall and that uh with that you with that humility you will be there uh, to help us back, to help us come back even stronger than ever. Uh, this this uh, forging technique uh, that this life uh, gives to us to go through these difficulties and take a pounding and keep on licking 
it's it's may not be fun, but it is sure is effective in the long run. And we certainly appreciate your help with it because we need it. At least I know I do. We thank you so much, Lord. Lead us in ways that we may lead lives that glorify you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Rich, can you stay on? Sure. Thank you. 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 Th